hello guys and welcome to a new brand video and today i'm going to show you how uh, to use the gantt chart in clickup web application so the first thing that i will need you to do now is to start or to go to your browser and type app.clickup.com in your web browser and then it will lead you to the clickup web application and then you will need to create an account by using your email and if you already have one just connect to it and log in and then we need to follow these simple steps and basically the first step that we will need to do is to go to our workspace so i'm going to click on my space here and now i'm going to add something or you can go to any lists so this is my space here and of course i want to add for example this gant here or you can just click on add a list if you want do whatever you want so let's go for uh, task management and i'm going to add a view for uh, my list or for my uh, this uh, folder and i'm going to click view and as you can see there is a choice that is called gantt and basically i'm going to click on gantt and click add view and basically gantt is an organizing uh, chart for your tasks uh, within the time so basically those are the days so this is 20 21 uh, as you can see it's the date from uh, 19 to 25 and this is the axis of time or the the horizontal axis is for time and the vertical axis is for the tasks so basically the task the tasks will be listed uh, vertically and then uh, the time is horizontal so we go for example here to action and this is our first task and so we we click on it so we put it here in the tasks and as you can see uh, they are the tasks are put or listed vertically so we go for the first thing uh, we go for design logo we give it the time or the duration so i'm going to put it here and going up or down so this is the whole uh, this is uh, for the whole project or the action items so as you can see this is uh, just like a general view of uh, the time of the whole project or the task and basically as you can see we put it all the, the items here or for designs new logo and if we can see it uh, we need to go to another uh, view so we go for for example for design your logo if we click on it we will find here uh, the things to do or etc the subtask etc so we go back to our gantt uh, thing we go to action we put uh, this uh, we already have it and basically we are going to give it the time or it will be uh, done uh, correctly or automatically if you already have some dates or you assigned dates to your tasks so i'm going just to make it here we are going to pass for example 24 uh, i mean from 17 to 24 you are going to pull this one here this one for example it will take this time etc so basically all you will have to do this is the first task this is the second task so make sure that you have uh, your task that are listed uh, in an order so it uh, either whether uh, it's better to be ascendant order so you will have more organized uh, charts so as you can see it will be like that and of course i'm going to make it like this and of course if there were uh, it may be you maybe have some simultaneous tasks like these it they maybe have like that and of course these ones should be the last because like that we will have a more organized and more lisable uh, chart and this is like a general idea or general uh, view on how to use uh, the Gantt charts in uh, click up thank you for watching and see you next time